Cutting Hair's free salon education podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs, episode eight. We're back. We took a, a little hiatus for the uh, holiday time, and I was traveling, and but we're back. Yeah, we are. So, yeah. uh, uh, Brian Hare. Hi. Carly. Hi. Christina. What's up? And uh, we got some fun things to talk about today. We're going to talk about salon education, um, some hair products, some people going crazy in salons, and uh, blow dryers. So that's what we're going over today. Um, If you are uh, planning on opening or renovating a salon or barbershop, partner with our friends at Minerva Beauty, the trusted beauty equipment provider for over 175,000 beauty industry businesses worldwide. Scrolling their website, you'll be blown away at the wide range of designs, styles, color variety, and price points offered, uh, truly suiting the equipment needs of every individual. Don't believe me? Go check out their warehouse. We've all been there. Mm -hmm. Um, Huge. They got everything in stock, and uh, they're offering a buy more, save more. 10% off $500 or more, 15% off $2,500, 20% off $15,000. That was fun when we went there. Oh, yeah. We stayed fun. in Agreed. Athens, Georgia, right? Yep. That was a cute little town. And um, yeah. what was it for, though? I don't it was remember. like they had like this big event party. Yeah. Remember? But it was just like... I remember the party. It was like a show. Piece. I remember oh, the barbecue we got I think it there. was the opening of their where of their like expanded warehouse is what oh, it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So it, it was, was fun. Super cool. They should have a reopening. They should. Yeah, the grand reopening. <laughs> that was a fun Let's trip. Let's do that again. We should, too. We've... Uh, <laughs> We're still we waiting on the grand opening. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I've always said that we should just have like a big a party. A big party. Yeah, we should. Barbecue party. We should. I mean, we have the parking lot for it. That's Everyone's true. Everyone's invited. If you can hear this, come <laughs> yes. on down. That's true. Um, all right. So we got into the discussion last time and and you and I have been looking up salon education and and basically what we've come to the conclusion of, there's no quick, easy way to find out exactly what companies are doing, but we did find out a little bit, and I also want to read the opinions of people that posted on my Instagram that I posted, I put out uh, last week. Um, so I just want to talk about that for for one second, because some people did have some strong opinions, 68 comments, which uh, for Instagram nowadays is crazy. Um, but there, the biggest brands, Joyco was one of them that people okay. were saying, mm-hmm. um, and you were talking to me yesterday about their online education. I kind of went and just looked online yeah. at a bunch of them, and they seem to be very easy just to get to their their education, and you didn't have to log in or say you were a hairdresser or anything. You could just get it um, yeah. both. And they do those live classes yeah. that I was talking about, which yeah. was kind of cool that they're scheduled out. That was the cool thing. that I So I would, if I had to put out a vote, Joyco so far, what we found online for a brand, uh, if it's branded education, seemed to have the most going on from what we saw. But from like big brand, yeah, big brand, mm, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 big brand. Maybe um, like the easiest just to find, yeah, and mm-hmm. and the easiest to get to it. Um, so they had like live classes, they had um, you know on demand classes, but they had live classes throughout the day, English, Spanish. They had all kinds of different options. You were saying. Not throughout the day. They're scheduled out yeah. through months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're not like ongoing all day. So Joyco was uh, was a good one. Some people were saying Goldwell and Orbe. Uh, ha- we have classes with either one uh, at least every three months So um, in their salon. So that's good. Moroccan oil, color and product, best stuff ever. And if asked, I'm sure they would. But this is like what I'm starting to realize as I was reading through a lot of the comments is that... Um, I don't think people are taking advantage of in salon education as much as like as the, it used to be. Yeah, like as they use like when we were doing in salon education. Yeah. Um, salons were getting it on like almost a monthly basis. I think it's still offered, but yeah. kind of the same way through the distributor. Yeah. And that's just how how it's just been. Yeah. But then you kind of roll the dice with who you're getting. Yeah. And not that all educators aren't great and they're out there trying doing their thing, doing trying. Their thing. Yeah. But I just you know. That's my biggest fear, and I've been having this conversation within the salon uh, quite a bit, is that, um, you know, we were in education, right? And when you think about um, the training that we got and what we used to get, it's not like that anymore, and I know that for a fact. Maybe there are some really, you know, 
diamond in the rough com companies mm. out there that are still training on a quarterly basis and getting everybody together and inspiring everybody and then sending them out to salons. But I think a lot of it is go watch it digitally. Right. This is your training. Now go teach it. And that's, that's the hardest part. And some of the people struggling with this are, I can't learn by watching it. I got to learn by doing it. And a lot yeah. of companies now too, if you want that education, it's different where you can go onto their website and now you either, if you are affiliated with them or you are one of their users of their products, you can either use your points or you have to pay $600 yeah. or yeah. more. Yeah. Still. And again, rolling the dice on who that person is coming in. Well, with yeah. those, they tell, they'll tell you, so different companies were different. One, one of the companies would tell you what artist. Yeah. Another company, you can pick, um, a level advanced, right. Creative director. Yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. a national educator. Yeah. Um, and if you wanted advanced or a master class. So. Okay. With, in that, you know, everyone kind of. Yeah. So, so what I wanted to kind of put out there for people that are maybe struggling with education and all of that, it's for me, I think you need to do a lot more research in a, in a way of finding the people that inspire you and then figure out who inspires them, what products they use, like all of that. That was the conversation. Uh, and uh, Danielle in our salon, I was having that with her yesterday. I was just saying, like, for me, my goal would be to go and find the people that inspire me, which is what I do in everything that I do. So like if, I, if there's somebody that's into video editing or somebody that's into whatever it is so that at the time, I go find them, find out also who they were into. Back in the day, Robert Crow means I knew he was trained by Terry and Steve Cohen. Mm -hmm. So I started listening to their stuff, like getting kind of more in depth and figuring out the people that I, you look up to and what they do and, and use there. and education their background is like, and then start going at it. So I think that's kind of how the times have changed too. Before it was you educators went seeking out the company yeah. and the company taught you and you went out and sold their products. Yeah. And now it's like you buy our products and you could get free classes, but now we have social media. So I could look at, let's say I go online and I see Matt Beck. I'm like, I love how he cuts hair. Well, now I'm DMing you. Yeah. When are your classes? So now it's, you don't even have to work for a company anymore. If yeah. you're good at what you do and you can get your name out there, then yeah. you know what I mean? You mm -hmm. can find your education that way. Yeah, It's almost like the companies are becoming a little obsolete in that with the education. They're, they're now trying, they're trying hard to stay relevant in that factor in, in some ways. Yeah. And it's very branded too. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have opinion? No, I mean, I think you pretty much covered it. Like I did enjoy back when we were educators, the, the organization of it, it felt like there were so many people, like we'd go to hair shows and you just see so many other people that are dedicating to education and it was really cool. And I think COVID kind of wiped that board clean because yeah. people weren't doing things anymore. And I don't know that there's been like an effective replacement yet because like you can seek people out and all that stuff. But like me personally, I get way less from watching something digitally. Like I yeah. want to be corrected. I want to be yeah. guided. And it's just because I get so much less for from it, from now, like for now, it's really been more, I'll get inspiration and it, less education from Yeah, that's a good platforms. way to put it. Inspir and you're kind of bringing up, yeah, the yeah. whole other side of it, of the feeling aspect of being inspired and hands-on is probably a, a way yeah. that that... Oh, yeah. absolutely. For, like for a lot of hairdressers. Yeah, because like, whether it was a class I was teaching or a class I was taking, the vibe of the whole thing is what mm -hmm. made it so fun. Like, yeah. we have come together to do this. We respect our industry this much. Like, it just made it feel, I don't know, more personal. Yeah. Which is like, duh, it's a problem with online stuff. But right, yeah. I preferred that. Yeah, I feel school. like it's a it's an easy escape for companies to do it. Like, I mean, we're we're very much online education, but it's for, it's free and that's kind of like the goal of it, but I think we all just miss how it was. Like, yeah, for but sure. you're free 
salon education wasn't because you're like, oh, let me get everyone educated on like if you but if you're interested, come seek me out. Yeah. And right. get good at it. Yeah. And it was you more, know, it's it wasn't we weren't selling shampoos, conditioner, hairspray. Right. right. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. general education that anybody can get into whatever your salon subscribes to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Versus, you know, the branded education that we did, mm-hmm. which, you know, was uh, maybe easier because you had very fine parameters on what you could work within. And yeah, you just have to like, now I have to make a video that will appeal to literally everybody or anybody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so let us know in the comments your feeling on education in the current state. Do you like the digital? Can you learn? I mean, we put out polls like this before. We kind of know what the answer is. But do you have... Uh, a brand that you're working with that really is providing great education. We're we're seeking that out. We want to share that with with people as well. So, um, and is it free? So, because obviously we're free salon education. We want to share it with brands that are uh, providing that as well. Uh, share it out there. So, next uh, next thing I want to talk about this uh, this article I read was pretty interesting about uh, a woman who went into Ulta. Um, and she bashes Ulta um, for their salon that's within Ulta. She came, she went in there, basically got a haircut. But then as I started reading, she's also done this uh, in multiple businesses and now has made a Instagram basically <sighs> about it. I think it. it's a TikTok, isn't it? Oh, worse. Or TikTok, yeah. I already don't like her. Yeah. Yeah. So, sure. so she's gone into multiple places. And so- but she doesn't just do that. Like she's done reviews on other things that are good reviews. Yeah. So I don't want to just say that her whole her whole page is that. Yeah. Is negative. Right. But, but is that, it negative like just about the hair stuff though? Like, no, it's not it, just hair. It's okay. it's, it's nails, old navy. It's, yeah. It's it yeah, it's just lifestyle, I would say. Yeah. Mm. So she's amassed almost five hundred thousand views and uh, on TikTok. Yeah. So um so it's Ali Roker or Rooker is her her name on there. Um she she shared how the clothes at Old Navy and other retailers have gone down in quality. Uh, she also called out the North Face uh, after getting soaked in one of the brand's waterproof rain jackets. So she's basically like calling out <laughs> brands, but then uh, maybe there's good stuff too. I didn't, I, I only saw the. I feel like it's, if you're calling out a whole brand or a company is way different than calling out Brian at Salon Gratitude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I think that's what the personal problem is. If you're calling out one single Ulta and then you might know who this lady's name or man's name is that did your hair. Yeah. Like that's the problem that, you know, this person, and I don't know the whole story. Did they cut your hair? And then they were like, oh sorry or you're crazy it doesn't look bad or you know like did she go back and was it like oh let's fix this let's fix this problem and hey so and so we need to see what if you should be on the floor anymore right you know and address it yeah attacking Ulta is one thing but attacking one hairdresser at Ulta is kind of you know one particular one you gotta yeah that's no thanks yeah and I think so how do we deal with how like when we have customers because I know this is also a thing. Um, when we have customers that uh, are maybe not happy um, and we are trying to you know, appease them uh, and when is it too much is kind of what I want to know in the chat and then also you guys. Like, like wh- what is the, the breaking point of a, a customer being too much or, or it just being, you know, like we want to make them happy? Well, it's, there's, there's a difference between did something happen that I didn't want to happen that you're bringing to me that I can fix. Yeah. Like then it, it happens, yeah. you know, like a, a, there's a, a longer piece of hair on one side of a haircut or the color came up a little bit too warm. Okay. I, I see what's upsetting you. Let me try to fix it. There's a difference between that and those people that are just generally pushy, bossy, unhappy people. Yeah. And I think that that's something like that's a trait that we pick up on. Mm-hmm. Like I for a while I had a client, we were getting to know each other and she would leave so happy. And every time she came back, she'd go, I hated everything. <laughs> Literally <laughs> yeah. every single time that, she came back. And at first I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And then like after a few months, I'm listening to her and I realize it's not that you hate everything. It's that it's time to do your hair again. Like. <laughs> 
yeah, you've got roots because it's been 10 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't have the haircut anymore because it's been 10 weeks. Like, okay. like try to find the problem now and I solve under- it. Right. Yeah. I understand what the issue is. You just need your hair done. Yeah. You <laughs> like, should come in every seven or eight weeks or you can come in and bitch about it and we can laugh about yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That's actually funny because like I do have, I have a few guys that come in that are like, they'll be like, one in particular, he's probably in today, but um, he goes, oh, I didn't like it last time. And I'm like, well, you're going to love it this time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like to keep my standard this high all yeah. the time. You know, I want to now. Now there's I can knock it out of the park. There's a difference with having a repeat client yeah. that does this, but leaves happy and everything's good. They just come in and do that like a Debbie Downer. Yeah. And someone that really calls and they're like, I need my hair fixed. Yeah. And then might right. not come back. Yeah. Like the only people that I've ever had to part ways with, it was never about the job that was being done. It was about their disrespect of what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, <Wait>. you're just... <laughs> Wait. It was just funny the way it was said. Did I, I not know. understand what you yeah, said? Yeah, maybe I didn't understand. Maybe I didn't quite understand. Well, I mean like someone who doesn't respect like time. <laughs> yeah. You know, like someone oh. who's blowing off appointments yeah. or... Oh, oh okay. That okay. kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, I'm no, like, I don't. No, God, I, I don't mean like you have to like the haircut. Yeah. No, it's not that at all. <laughs> That's not what I meant at all. Thank you for letting me clarify. Yeah. Sorry, I caught the back end of that. I and was I was like, like oh. oh, I thought you were making a joke. And then I'm like, oh, maybe. Not. No, 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 no. no okay. I meant someone who like just doesn't respect the salon, doesn't respect it. <laughs> yeah. You know, the way it. that we have to do our yeah. job. To totally function. get that. Yeah. Like that's when I'm like. Mm-mm. But yeah. what about actual hair mistakes? Yeah. Like when you do, what is your. Do you have an idea in your head? Do you handle Do you handle them all the same, or do you? No, you got to cater it to yeah, the person it. and what you did. But yeah. you have to be able to admit, though. Okay, right. that's, that's the biggest. Thing. That's number yeah. one. Yeah, you can't try to be like, I know it's raining so hard. Like, oh, that's I, what I yeah. hear in my I've head. I've worked <laughs> next to people that are like, they'll get a complaint and they're like, No, that's you're wrong. I'm like, No, they're not. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't like their haircut. They're not wrong. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Like we work in an industry that's very subjective and like if they if people, you know, don't like it, it doesn't matter how good it is. Right. You know, every time I cut Christina's hair, it's so good. And like there's something that she doesn't like, then you know <laughs> it's Wait, just her Carly, opinion. No. It's not because it's terrible and uneven. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did you ever see Wait, the show? I actually love my hair, but honestly, this is just funny. I cut it so I just uneven got last time. My haircut by Matt, and it's it's so uneven. That haircut might have put me in retirement. Actually. But I think what we were talking about work and life while you're cutting my hair, and I think I just should shut my mouth. I, it was the worst hair. It might be worse there's than a sound the bite short. For you. Hair. It might be worse than the short haircut. The good thing because is it's long. It, yeah. The good thing is it's long, but now my and one now she parts side it is, on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna part it and get like a wave done because it needs to just be big because this one side was just taking so much hair out of. Yeah, man, it's fine though. I actually cut when I cut uh, Katie's hair yesterday. The whole time I was so focused because I was like, I cannot <laughs> let that ever happen again. Like I don't know. I, it happens. Yes. But when you live with somebody that you cut their hair, and you don't care. Well, no, because she's like, <laughs> she's like, don't touch it. Because like, so I wanted to fix it, right? But only way to fix it is take it a little bit shorter. And she's like, no, nope. it, let it grow. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so now every day, it's a reminder. I see her every day. <laughs> Carly and it's a was, reminder. Carly was so cute because she colored my hair and she goes, oh, yeah. Um, the one, the one side is a little. <laughs> oh, that's another conversation, actually. <laughs> Because um, my client yesterday was in California, John, and he came back and he's like, sorry, I had to cheat on you while I was gone. Um, Mm. But he'd had text the salon and said, what clipper guard level should we use? And I said, use a five because he doesn't really like it short. And I was like, well, maybe they can't screw it up if it's a five, you know, and not putting it out there that anybody's going to screw anything up, but you really just never know. I don't know where he's going, whatever. So he said he went to the salon and the guy, he said, use a five. The guy started using a five and he goes, it's not taking anything off. And John's like, you can use a four, but that is it. And (laughs) uh, so he said to me when he gets back, he goes, how messed up was it? And I, and like, to me, I'm not somebody that likes to look at somebody else's work, like, and really judge it because I also have days (laughs) that are, and I try to think about those days, but like, how are you guys with that? Like, well, I just had someone yesterday, actually. She wants to start coming to me, and she does highlights and a haircut. Okay, 
So we're talking, and I can tell from looking at her that she just does tons of foils. Okay. But I can tell by talking to her that nobody's had the conversation with her about what she really wants. Because as we're talking, she's saying she likes her base color. She wishes there was more of it. She feels overall too light. And I'm like, well, that's exactly what they're doing to you. Like they're making it so that you are lighter overall. So let's let it grow out for a couple months. I can start doing this and this and that. And she's like so excited about it. I'm not crapping on anyone's work because yeah. I would like to karmically put that out there and hope no one does it to mine. But it also doesn't look good. Like, yeah, it's correction through education, I think, or something like that. Yeah, you know like I'm mean? not like, saying that person did a crap job. Yeah, you're just, I'm just explaining. Saying, oh, like you want this? Cool, then I'll do why this Why it different. might not be working or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, just to kind of go back to like getting things wrong, I like to just kind of under promise things. Oh, um, yeah. And I think that's your biggest, like, like that can work in your favor. Because if you underpromise, then they have that expectation. Um, that's smart. Right away. Yeah. And just being strong in your consultations is going to help to prevent from any. Totally. Yeah. Any I mistakes. keep expectations in the dirt. Yeah. And, and then, then it's <laughs> like, oh my God. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <I> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would also say probably um, some blame could go on the salon, the owners too. If someone's not ready to be on the floor by themselves. Yeah. That could really, you know, you can't have a person, they're struggling or, and then all of a sudden you just fire them. At least in my opinion. Yeah. Like there should, you know, if one mistake happens and it's a pretty decent mistake or they should have had knowledge of that mistake, then yeah. you kind of have to take them off the floor and revisit maybe their... Yeah. You know, they're training. And we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. Like we've all made big mistakes mm -hmm. in this, in the salon. Like that's, that's how you grow. So, um, and that's what, so Susan said that, um, like we're spot on. You could be doing hair for 30 years and one client could make you want to retire. <laughs> and also that <laughs> someone said that, um, basically you can, everyone makes mistakes and for sure, you know, yep. I feel like it always happens in the way that like I'll have a great week. And then the following week, not a good week <laughs> but of like being like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Like, I feel why like did that's that turn life out? Yeah. In general. Yeah. Like, wow. we're like we riding that deep. high. And then we're like, oh man. Oh, geez, this conversation's going to go somewhere. Else. <laughs> I know. Wow. When it rains, it pours. I know. I you know the salon's leaking right now. Leaking. I know. Your mom says hi to hi, everyone. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, mom. Uh, all right. So, Mevo on tour. Uh, this episode's uh, sponsored by Mevo on Tour. Mevo Salon and Spa Software is an uh, in-person series. Oh, Mevo on Tour is an in-person series. Sorry, I can't read. Um, of beauty and wellness business conferences spanning major U.S. cities in 2024. They already had one in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so you missed it. But there's one coming up in New York uh, in the summer. So go check out uh, Mevo on Tour. It, it welcomes salon and spa owners, managers to learn from some of the industry's best, uh, I think, including me. I haven't got confirmation, <laughs> but I think I'm going to be part of it. Uh, network with like-minded professionals and walk away with newfound ideas and inspiration to implement in your business. Uh, upcoming conferences locations include New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Dallas. Uh the conference series includes an all-day event full of peer-to-peer -peer networking, interactive strategic sessions uh, for mac on maximizing profit, creating unforgettable guest moments, and overcoming industry challenges uh, and more. Go to Mevo.com slash Mevo dash on dash tour. This might be the most rain ever. And you know what? If we just stop talking, somebody could fall asleep to this. I do. You are. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, Brian doesn't feel well, and this is the quietest episode uh, of the show. Because the rain, yeah, sorry. I know, Carly, you were quiet too. Sorry. It's what? the rain. <laughs> I think it's the day. It's soothing. It's, yeah. We're soothed. Okay, one more thing I want to show you guys because I've wanted to unbox this, and, and I'm going to do it in a vocal way because I know we're on audio, and I'm not, I'm skipping the Guy Fieri gel conversation because <laughs> I basically just wanted to talk about people getting obsessed with products that l use them for years. He's been using the same gel for like 20 years. Brian's That's obsessed the with the product. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I actually looked for that too. because I wanted to use it today. Wait, what, um, are, your obsession, wait, what are your obsession products? Um, well, mine's Clean Cut, Paul Mitchell. Really? I mean, it's the only product I use. I've used it for 10 years. Do you I, didn't know well, that? 
well, no, I know he uses that and he's obsessed with it. But oh, the new one, a new one that he oh. kind of really, really likes. So I just I didn't know. I actually do really he like told that. Told me to get that one instead. So. Yeah, I use it. I use that every day actually. Okay. now. Maria, so I, I did kind of make a switch. Maria Nella, I think it is. Yeah, I didn't so know the name of it. What's That's yours, why Bri? What's your favorite? Uh, mine is Days of Dirt from I think it's California Born is the name of the company. Mm -hmm. It's I haven't tried any of their other stuff. But I'm so obsessed with this product for my hair, for most people's hair, for basically everyone but Matt. <laughs> and then yeah, it didn't work in my hair, but Carly, what's yours? Uh, Moroccan oil dry shampoo. Oh, mm. yeah. oh, it's the best dry shampoo. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, I almost got it out. Yeah, do this vocally, Matt. Yeah, I am. Here, do you want me to help you? Get some grunts. So you remember the blow dryer we were talking about with the light? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> or well, a knockoff. It's not a knockoff. No, it's it's Actually from the it. company. Hell yeah! Remember, so the L'Oreal one, nice rip. <laughs> um, the L'Oreal one isn't out yet, but uh, the company makes two. They make. Um, wow, it was really stuck in there, huh? I mean, that's what she said. You're just saying that so people don't think you're so wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Call that out. wasn't why, but subliminally, it could have been. There you go. So true. Like I'm actually jar. so impressed. She or she ripped the box. Wow. Wow. Good look job, at that. Chris. Box rip. Okay. Anyways. Um, I did have a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty oh, sure. <laughs> I know. Okay. So, anyways, this blow dryer, um, for those of you guys listening, it's the Zuvi Halo hair dryer and I've been wanting to um, I've had this for a month now I've been wanting to unbox it and try it out in the salon so I could give you guys feedback on it it's also um it's the blow dryer that basically dries hair by heat uh by light not by heat the LED light? the LED yeah the light uh, uh light oh, no up. infrared yeah Is so that it's the one, the yeah infrared? it creates no okay. damage um can you get tan fast drying <laughs> shiny healthier hair lightweight cooler temperature energy efficient so i'm gonna check it out it comes with a diffuser um a concentrator and yeah so i'm gonna check it out yeah i, I am excited about it and i but i wanted to it says 38 percent shinier 57 percent color retention Ooh, check it we out we went through all of this i know. You gotta use it now i know 17 percent smoother and nine percent stronger hair what? so a weird percentage. That is a weird percentage. I'm excited to see. They just rounded up to 10. Because we didn't get... Because that you, wasn't official. Wait, are you going into your last article of traveling blow dryers? Well, that's kind of where I wanted to go with this. So, um, the traveling blow dryers. Mm -hmm. uh, How many people do travel? I pack my That's what dryer. I wanted to know. That's I pack question. mine every time. I think a bad blow dryer will damage your hair. Yeah, you're Even not wrong. Even if you're wearing... The, or wearing... Even yeah. if you have the protectants in your hair, a bad blow dryer or a hotel blow dryer will destroy your hair. So I was just in a hotel last weekend and used the hotel blow dryer and I'm fine with it because I've got three hairs on my head anyway. So, well, you don't have color treated. And I don't. Have, yeah. Yeah. You so, can get just away short. with that. Yeah. You can get away with that. But, um, it does remind me every time. And that's kind of why I like this. I wanted to pull up this article and see what you guys do, how you travel with it, because do you have a travel blow dryer? Because this GHD uh, flight one looked pretty cool. Um, the do you travel with a blow dryer or do you um, do you use the hotel? Carly, the hotel you, is so dry and nasty, like the way the air comes out and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Carly, yeah. do you? I don't travel for long periods of time, so I just plan my hair washing schedule uh, around, and I just don't take one. Okay. Like I just don't wash my hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's smart. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Solves that problem. Yep. <laughs> and you don't wash your hair. So. Yeah. So why would I dry it? <laughs> Do you just let it air dry? He just puts days dry? of dirt in you every don't day. Blow dry every day. day. Yeah. No, I just air dry. Mm -hmm. no. I tried blow drying it a couple weeks ago and reminded myself that I'm really good at doing other people's hair, but not my own. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this could be a fun little thing. And it looks so bad. I put it in a bun and threw on a hat and went out. <laughs> Maria travels with hers, she said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think um I don't know, they look pretty cool. I like the the one that I used was Andis at the at the thing and I just couldn't believe it. It's crazy to me that professional companies also just have this second side business where they just create crap. Yeah, like Guys, if you're a big corporate company, they all do. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember. I was so no, excited. No, that's what I'm like, saying. Though. Let's just make money. I was yeah. so excited to get the little Paul Mitchell silver travel blow dryer, and then I was so excited to go somewhere. And the first time that I did, it shot sparks into my hair and yeah. smoked. Oh, yeah. so, really? First and time. You, and you yeah. crank those things up, and it's like the even the sound of it. You're like, yeah, it oh. smells like fire. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty close. <laughs> What's up, guys? Let me tell you about formulate.co slash Matt Beck. If you're looking for customized formulations, something that fits your hair and skin type perfectly, then go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck, take the free quiz, figure out what's going on with your hair, and get that perfect formula sent straight to you. And uh, it doesn't stop there. You have your own personal chemist that gets assigned to your account so that you can make adjustments to your formula as your hair sees fit. We don't need the same shampoo and conditioner in the summer as we do in the winter. Conditions are different. Your skin acts different. Your hair acts different. So make sure if you want to have perfect skin and hair, go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck and sign up today. Yes. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to spin the wheel. If you want to spin the wheel uh, and win something amazing, then comment spin in the chat. And you should be a professional. Just putting it out there. Yeah, because some of these... Yeah, you're not going to like it win. if it... Yeah. Let's see if we can see Brian. Oh, it's close enough. <laughs> Sorry. I also didn't do a good job putting the camera on the uh, wheel today. All right, let's give it a spin. Susan Carlson spins. She's the first. All right, Susan, let's see. Let's see. A comb. <laughs> 701 comb. Let's go. I love the 701 comb. So, Heck Susan... Yeah. Congratulations. Email Matt at freesaloneducation.com. Just put wheel winner and uh, your name, address, phone number, and we will ship you out your brand new comb. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you follow us, uh, everything at Free Salon Education. Follow Brian. Uh, hairstyle. Yes. Carly. <laughs> Hair by Carly C. And us. Yes. Subscribe. Follow. <laughs> Listen to the rain. Yeah. And this is going to be my calm sleep story. Oh, this is crazy. Out. Okay. All Everyone right. Everyone in the chat, have a nice weekend. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, I said that, but also <laughs> on the uh, iTunes as well. So you can listen to us in your car. Um, and even if it's a sunny day, it'll feel like a rainy day that day. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we got to go. We got to do hair. Thank you guys.